So women often ask, are there alternatives to chemotherapy? So let's discuss that question. When we look at the chemotherapy decision, it tends to be a data uh, decision. We have facts that will tell the patient what's the potential benefit of doing this chemotherapy. Is it 5% or 30% or 50% or whatever? Um, and, and based on that, a woman in general, obviously, if the if the benefit is big, we'll do the chemotherapy. Um, the alternative to that, if one decides not to do the chemotherapy, for whatever reason, one accepts that your potential cure rate will go down by that, uh, by missing that benefit of chemotherapy. If that's low, I don't make a big deal about it, but I don't know of any alternative treatment that would substitute for that. Believe me, if we did, we'd do it. Um, uh, I wish we could give asparagus juice or whatever and get the same benefit, but, but to date, um, we don't have proof that some of these alternative treatments that uh, are touted uh, have that same kind of benefit, so that at some point a woman needs to decide, based on the benefit of that chemotherapy, and the toxicity of that chemotherapy, do I want to do it or not? Hi, I'm Dr. Jay Harness, and I want to share with you important information that I believe that every newly diagnosed patient with breast cancer needs to know. I'm a breast cancer survivor. I am a breast cancer survivor. I am a breast cancer survivor. And I want every woman to know about personalized breast cancer treatment and the genomic test. A test that helps guide a woman and her doctor to the best treatment options for her. Pass it on.